just let him walk into our gun sights and blast him. Too dangerous for the prisoners, Peter. Sergeant Jasper. Yes, sir. See that trail down there cutting across the road going into the woods? Oh, yes, sir. Leads down to the creek and then stops. The enemy won't know that if you don't tell them, will they, Sergeant? <laughs> Be a good toy friend to our redcoats and persuade them to take the shortcut to Parker's Ferry. Yes, sir. That all do, sir. We'll keep close by to keep contact with you, Jasper. Peter, Jasper succeeds. I want you and McDonald to take one man each. Get down the trail there and try to slip in amongst the prisoners, take enough pistols with you and pass them amongst them. As soon as the firing starts, get over to the right flank of the enemy and crossfire. Any questions? No, sir. Sounds like it might be a lot of fun, sir. Yes, it just might be at that. Morning to you, noble sons of his majesty. May the good Lord bless you. I see you made a good catch of uh, Yankee traitors. Fair catch, friend. You speak like a man I could trust. Is there any water in this heathen land which isn't crawling with insects and vermin? Uh, that would depend on where you were going, Captain. Oh, we're following this road to Parker's Ferry. Well, speak up, man. There's no fresh water between here and the ferry. That's still a sizable distance to go. Uh, but this little trail here leads right down past the prettiest little spring in the state of Carolina. Uh, it's closer to the ferry. Uh, uh, shortcut, we call it. Oh, much obliged, friend. We'll take it. What? Skunk, I'd like to get my hands on you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Why don't you yell real hard, Yank? Maybe the swamp fox will hear you and come free your hands. He can't be far away. All right, ma'am. Don't hit water soon, we must turn back on the road. Keep your chins up, men. Marion's close by. Here. Now, when the shooting starts, follow me. brothers trailing us. When they hit the redcoats, we take over. There's no reason we can't do some shooting ourselves. Over there! On the left! Fire! Fire! 
soldier. Get along. Go on, scoot. It looks a lot better on you than it did on the first gun that wore it. Yes, it sure does. Captain, take this message to your General Cornwallis from the one they choose to call the Swamp Fox. Tell him as long as they're a free man in Carolina, the war will go on until every red coat is driven from our shore. You tell him that, will you please? Now be on your way. Ready? March! <laughs> Man, it's time for all good swamp foxes to take cover. I was just a little hornet sting we gave the enemy today, but he felt it, you can be sure of that. And he'll be looking for us quite soon. So everybody head for home, and when you see the sky above Snow Island filled with birds again, that's a signal to join me. All right, everybody, mount up. We are short of lead and powder. Always fight with an empty gun. Only makes us shout the louder. We are men of Marion. Swamp fox, swamp fox, tail on his hand. Nobody knows where the swamp fox is. Swamp fox, swamp fox, climb in your bed. He runs away to fight again. Got no blankets, got no bed. Got no rope to pull our head. Got no shelter when it rains. All we got is Yankee brain. Swamp fox, swamp fox, tail on his hat. Nobody knows where the swamp fox is. Swamp fox, swamp fox, hang in the bed. He runs away to fight again. Next week, we bring you another stirring adventure in the life of that true hero of the War of Independence, Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. <laughs>